This is Alan Bush with the Daily Financial Forecast for Tuesday, August 8th. Starting out with the stock index futures, under a little pressure this morning, this after we did have some weaker than expected economic data out of China and also out of Germany. And yet I think we can probably see a recovery. I would not be surprised to see futures moving back to higher on the day. Also nothing changing in our long-term view, still looking for higher prices for all of the indices, and I think this trend will probably continue at least through the end of this year. Moving over to the currencies, the dollar index under some pressure yesterday and also again today. This after two Fed officials having some rather dovish comments yesterday. Of course, this would undermine the dollar from an interest rate differential point of view. We continue to believe that the dollar index will fall probably lasting all of this year. So the bear market is intact for the dollar index with what we're seeing, while the bull market for the euro currency we believe is likely to be with us for quite some time, probably at least through the end of this year. So any uh, rallies we see in the dollar should be used as selling opportunities. Any breaks in the euro should be used as buying opportunities. Interest rate markets, we're really standing aside there. The fundamentals appear to be mixed. So I don't think there's much to do in the interest rate futures markets. Interestingly enough though, the copper market now advancing to a 27 month high yesterday, indicating that the global economy is likely to improve. And I think that if that is a correct assessment, that would indicate more global inflation, which is supportive to the gold market, which is our uh, position as well. We do like the long side of the gold. And before the end of the year, I think we can take out the 1305 highs uh, that we saw earlier this year uh, in, in gold. So trade gold from the long side. This is a long-term trend to the upside with what we are seeing. So good trading, everyone. And once again, remember, these are my opinions alone and are not the opinions of ADMIS or Archer Daniels Midland.